In this video, I'm going to show you how to insert a CMS field inside of a sentence or in between text. It's super easy, so let's get into it right now. Okay, so I have this simple card made, and what we're doing is we're actually pulling from the CMS, from this team member CMS, and we're inserting some fields into sentences and pieces of text. So, for example, this top paragraph, it says, Johan Ferry is a Webflow developer for Fitter Media. There are two things in this paragraph that are being pulled from the CMS. Johan Ferry, his name is being pulled from the CMS, and then his job title, which is Webflow Developer, is also being pulled from the CMS. Okay, so what you're going to do is for each element where you want to include a CMS field inside of a sentence, you want to drop in an embed element. Right here, you see I have an HTML embed element. So to do that, just drop in an embed element. So I'm going to quickly drop one in. Here we go. Now for a paragraph, we want to use a P tag. So what you're going to do in HTML is you're going to write um, opening and closing P tags. This is basically you can just think of as a paragraph. And then within this P tag, you're going to click up on this button right here. This is add field. And then we're going to click on name. Now this is pulling the name from the CMS. From here, we can write the rest of whatever we want to write just as normal text. So if we're using uh, this example right here, Johan Ferry is a Webflow developer for Fitter Media. We're going to do Johan Ferry. Oops, got to go in here. All right, Johan Ferry is, uh, now we have Webflow developer. That is his job title. So we're going to click on add a field again, and we're going to click on job title. So Johan Ferry is a Webflow developer, and now we're going to do for Fitter Media. We're going to save and close that, and there we go. It is perfect. Now, if I switch to a different team member, so Camille, Camille is a project manager for Fitter Media. You can see it works perfectly. So now for the headings down here, we're going to use the exact same technique. We're going to drop in HTML embeds, and I'm just going to preview this one right now. So what you're going to do is you're going to wrap your text inside of heading tags, depending on which heading you want. So H1 through H6, you can just enter in those heading tags here. And then in between of the heading tags, you do the exact same thing. You click on a field, you drop in the field you want, and then you start writing your text like normal. Now, really quickly is this one we had. Uh, let me resize this. I'll just close it. So this one we had an apostrophe S. Now there is no apostrophe S in the CMS, so this is how you can add an apostrophe S to a CMS field, some like someone's name right here, Camille Story. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna treat this CML blurb, like this CMS driven blurb, you're gonna treat it just like a text. So you're gonna add an apostrophe S right up against it, and then what it's gonna do is it's gonna collapse it all together as one word live on the site. Now, in order to get the styling correct, you cannot click on the HTML embed and start styling your text because a lot of the styles aren't going to work. So what you want to do is you want to drop in a normal heading element, and then you want to give it a class. So you can just call it a heading or whatever you want to give it. Just make sure you give it a class with no spaces or anything, just like you would normally name classes. And then from here, you can start styling the text. And we're going to do a few styles here just so we can see the difference. Then what you're going to do is you're going to copy your class. You're going to go to your HTML embed. And then you're going to write in, let me just delete this to show you how to do this. So you're going to, on your first tag, you're going to go right before that end bracket. And you're going to type in class equals, and then in quotation marks, you're going to paste your class name. You're going to hit save and close. And there you go. It's going to be perfectly styled. If we click on this element and we start changing the styles, it is nicely going to change everywhere else, just like you expect it to, like it would in other Webflow stuff. So that is a quick overview on how to insert CMS fields into sentences and pieces of text real easily. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. There are links in the description too if you're looking for Webflow development or Webflow consulting. Anyway, have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.